Hey guys and welcome back to another video on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a snow effect on Scratch. Since it's nearing Christmas, many people would want to create Christmas themed Scratch projects. Therefore, they can embed this snow effect into those projects. I'll show you a demonstration. So as you can see, snow is falling and it's being piled up onto the ground. I've even added a snowman over here and I've chosen this backdrop from the Scratch library. So let's get started with this video. So first go to scratch.mit.edu and click on create. This will take you to the project editor. Now you can delete the cat sprite and name this project whatever you want. I'm guessing you guys are embedding this into a separate project. In that case, just do the following starting from choosing a sprite. But if you're not, then just name this project Snow Effect. Now select a sprite by hovering on choose a sprite and clicking on the search icon or just click on it. Now type in winter. You'll see many sprites that are related to winter. You'll see penguin 2, snowflake, snowman, winter hat, and wizard hat. I'm going to choose on snowman, but you can also choose penguin 2. Now, let's choose a backdrop. Click on choose a backdrop and type in winter, and you'll see two backdrops the slopes backdrop and the winter backdrop. You can click on slopes or winter. I'm gonna select winter. Now hover on choose a sprite and click on paint. Zoom in and select the circle tool. Hold on shift to draw a circle. Now I'm gonna align this to the center and make this no outline and change the fill color to white. Maybe I'm gonna make the outline to two. Just to make it a bit bigger, but make sure the outline's color is white. Oh wait, I forgot to select it. Great, so now let's get started coding it. But before that, I'm gonna name this stripe snow. Now this project is going to be under the extensions category because we're going to be choosing an extension. Also check out the extension playlist and you'll also be able to find this video in that playlist. So select the extension pen. Now drag in a when green flag clicked, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. So when green flag clicked, we want to erase all and we want to hide this sprite. Next, we want to set the size of this sprite to 10. Remove hide so that you can see the size. So it's going to be that small. Now drag in a forever loop. So forever, we want to create a clone of this sprite. So until the user clicks on the stop button, clones are going to be created. We also want to drag in a wait one second and change this to how about 0 0.5 or 0 0.05. Maybe that's a bit too low. Yeah, 0 0.03 is good. So now drag in a when I start as a clone. So a common misconception is that when I start as a clone is a part of the events category block because it looks just like that. But it's not. When I start as a clone, it's considered in the control category block because create a clone is a part of the control because we're controlling what we want to do with that sprite, which is going to be creating a clone of myself. So to control what's happening when the clone is being created, that's why when I start as a clone is falling under the control category blocks. So when I start as a clone, we want to go to X and Y. 
So now x is going to be a random position from negative 230, actually. 230, actually 220. Two positive 220. And y is going to be 170. Now, I want you guys to select the backdrops and choose the backdrop. If you scroll down, you will see the XY grid. I want you to select that. Now, you'll see on the XY grid that we have X negative 240 over here and X negative two, positive 240 over here. If you also have scratch on add-ons, you'll also see over here. So this XY grid is going to be really helpful because it tells us what exactly is the positioning. So in this case, I chose negative 200 and two, positive 220. So it means that the snow will go to a random position from negative 220 to positive 220. So now go to the looks category and select change size by 10. Go to the operators category and drag in a pick random from 1 to 10. Change 1 to 0 and 10 to 3. So what this does is that it's going to change the size of the snowflake by a random number from 0 to 3. Also, go to the backdrops, and now you can delete this XY grid. Another thing is the XY grid can also help you position your sprites in other projects as well. Now, once you've done that, drag in a show block from the looks category and drag in a forever loop from the control category. So we're showing the sprites now. Now change y, drag in a change y by negative 3. So it's going to change y by negative 3. Now drag in a change x position from a random position from how about a negative 1 to 1, which means it would probably be 0. Now if Drag in an if then condition, not an if else condition. So now we're checking whether the x position, y position, is the y position less than negative 170. We're asking ourselves negative 175. So I'm going to get back the f, x, y grid. I'm not going to delete it. Yep. So I'm not going to delete it. So we want to check whether the y position of the snow is less than the less than negative 175 which means it's somewhere over here probably it's less than going back to the winter backdrop so we're checking is the y position less than negative 175 so if it is then we want to stamp it which is like create a clone and then we want to delete this clone because anyways we're going to be stamping it now another if then condition so if if it's touching drag in a touching mouse pointer change mouse pointer to the snowman so if it's touching the snowman and we're again checking whether it's touching the snowman and it's also an equal to pick random position from 1 to 20 is equal to 1 
and pick random 1 to 20 is equal to 1. Then we want to stamp again and we want to delete the clone. Also, this is also supposed to be an if that condition, not an if else. Now, if we check this out, we have this note effect. It's really cool. Now, let's go to the snowman and do a bit of programming there too. So, drag in a when green flag clicked. So one green flag clicked, let's zoom in. So one green flag clicked, we want to drag in a forever loop and drag in two if then conditions. So we're checking again. So we're checking, is the sprite touching the color white? So I'm gonna pick it. How about this one? So is it touching color white and is Pick random from one to six this time is equal to one. Then we want to stamp and delete this clone. Delete this clone. We can just throw that and duplicate this. This is way more easier. Remove this touching color and make it a touching mouse pointer and change mouse pointer to snow and keep the rest of the things the same let's check it out now so now what we just did is that some of the snow is actually being stuck to the snowman right now so we're creating that realistic effect that if someone's walking then we want the snow to attached wherever it is. For example, there's snow on the hand, some on the cap as well. So that's great. I also want to check it out how it would be if we change the backdrop to the slope one. It'd be looking like this. So let's check it out now. So if you guys want, you can even use this. It's really convenient. So as you can see, there's some snow being stuck over here. And it is perfect. So that's it with today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys would want more similar sim effects and more similar simulations, I would think we can call it that, then subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, scratch out.